This video is about problems involving two sets with the use of the Venn diagram. Seventh graders, this is your virtual classroom. The following are some simple reminders to make your learning as smooth and easy as possible. Prepare a sheet of paper and a pen for answering the exercises. To ensure that you understand and follow through the concepts in the video, just pause and replay this video as needed. Now you are ready. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to illustrate set relationships using a Venn diagram and solve problems involving two sets using Venn diagram. Can you still remember them? Let us match the set operation in column A with its corresponding illustration in column B. Get a separate sheet of paper for you to write down your answer. And pause this video to give you time to answer. Now let's see if you have the same answer as mine. Great job! I know that you still remember our previous lesson. Our first illustration is A minus B. Our second illustration is the intersection of A and B. Our third illustration is B minus A. And our fourth illustration is the union of A and B. Very good! Given our universal set which contains the fruits, papaya, mango, avocado, atis, pineapple, tomato, okra, eggplant, squash, and vegetables, tomato, okra, eggplant, squash, malunggay, kangkong, and alugbati, let us answer the following questions. Now, I want you to get a separate sheet of paper to list down your answers. A. List of the fruits. B. How many fruits are there? C. List all the fruits only. D. How many are fruits only? E. List all the vegetables. F. How many vegetables are there? G. List all vegetables only. Again, you can pause this video to write down your answer. Let's proceed. H. How many vegetables only? I. List all both fruits and vegetables. J. How many are both fruits and vegetables? K. List fruits or vegetables. And L. How many fruits or vegetables? Are you ready? Now let us compare our answers. List all the fruits. The fruits are papaya, mango, avocado, atis, pineapple, tomato, okra, eggplant, and squash. Now, how many fruits are there? There are nine fruits. List all the fruits only. That would include papaya, mango, avocado, atis, and pineapple. And how many are they? There are five fruits only. This time, list all the vegetables. We have tomato, okra, eggplant, squash, malunggay, kangkong, and alugbati. And how many vegetables are there? There are seven vegetables. List all vegetables only. And that would be malunggay, kangkong, and alugbati. How many are vegetables only? There are three vegetables only. What about the list of both fruits and vegetables? That would be tomato, okra, eggplant, and squash. How many are both 
fruits and vegetables. There are four both fruits and vegetables. Now list fruits or vegetables. That would be everything in the universal set, which are papaya, mango, avocado, atis, pineapple, tomato, okra, eggplant, squash, malunggay, kangkong, and alubati. Now, how many fruits or vegetables? There are 12 fruits or vegetables. Now, did we get the same answer? That's great and that's a good news. Now, you are ready. What's more? Activity 2.1. Now, it's your turn. Read and analyze each item carefully and answer the questions that follow. A survey was conducted to 14 park goers. The result is illustrated at the right. Here. Answer the following. How many park goers prefer to jog only? How many park goers prefer to walk only? What about park goers prefer to jog and walk? And how many park goers prefer to jog or walk? Number two, given the Venn diagram at the right, how many elements does set A have? What about set B? What are the elements that belong to both A and B? And what about elements that belong to A or B? How about elements that do not belong to A nor B? Of course, please submit your work on time. You are great. Now this time, this is what you need to remember that Venn diagrams are important in showing relationships between sets. And means intersection of sets or means union of sets. Congratulations! You just finished this lesson. Once again, this has been your teacher, Miss Mary-Kate. Get involved! and keep on learning.